Okay, this circuit is uh, automatic AC-DC control that I use to power my ESR meter. You can see here that I have a line input, 120 volts, to a transformer. Changes it to 12, that's a bridge rectifier, filter, and a regulator. And that's the output of the regulator line right there. That goes into one side of the contact on the normally open contact of a 6 volt relay. Power from the bridge also comes before the regulator. It comes into the 180 ohm resistor into the relay because that's a 12 volt supply there. The relay is only 6 volts, so that's a dropping resistor. And uh, that diode is there to remove the spikes for when the relay uh, turns off. And then the contacts of the relay and shown here are normally closed position. So the way it is right now, let's assume that there's no cord plugged in here. This is not plugged into the wall, there's nothing here. So obviously the relay is off. That being in its normal position will connect the battery, which comes down into the contacts right across the contacts and into the on and off switch. Now you can see here that I have a double pole single throw on off switch. This turns off both the supply from the battery or the regulator, whichever one is being used. <clears throat> the second part of the switch is fused, which turns off the primary of the transformer. Okay, the reason I have that is because I want I didn't want the primary of the transformer to stay on standby even though I turned the power off. I wanted to turn the power off on both inputs. Okay, so here's what happens. Now, if there's no cord plugged in, the relay is off, the contacts are in position shown, and the 9-volt battery obviously comes down the contacts and out to power my circuit. Now, suppose you have these contacts closed, and even though the transformer is on, there's no cord plugged in. That means that this circuit here down here is not being powered. There's no power, so the relay is off. But as soon as you plug a cord in, even though the power switch is on, the bridge, the transformer is active, the bridge is, puts out voltage, it gets filtered, the regulator puts out voltage, so there's all of a sudden there's 8 volts that comes into the bottom contact. The 12 volts from the bridge comes into the 180 ohm resistor and turns the relay on. As soon as the relay gets energized, it pulls this contact down towards the bottom contact, which is connected to the regulator output. That means that the 8 volts is now coming through the bottom into the contact and out to the circuit, which eliminates the battery automatically because it disconnects the connection between the battery and the middle terminal. It now connects between the regulator and the middle terminal. Now, at the same time, the voltage at the filter is also going out through this line. It goes through a 1 mega ohm resistor into a diode, which goes back into the battery. So, not only does this power my meter through the regulator and it senses when you plug the cord in automatically by disconnecting the internal battery, it also sends power up to the battery to recharge the battery. Now, the purpose of the diode is so that the battery voltage does not go back through into the filter. So, it blocks it. It only allows the voltage coming in one way. The 1 mega ohm resistor, the diode drop, and the 12 volts here, and the, and the uh, ESR of the battery, all limit the current through this resistor at approximately 6 microamps. So this battery is being charged at 6 microamps, which means that it will charge to about 1 one hundredth of a volt every, I would say, 20 to 30 minutes. Which is okay, because if you leave this plugged in and turned on for, let's say, a day or a couple of days, this battery voltage will increase by at least one, one and a half, two volts, okay? So if it's down, let's say, to seven volts, and you all of a sudden you use AC power, you'll find that in two days it's back up to nine volts again. So you never need to change the battery, even though it's a non-rechargeable type. And plus, the extremely uh, low amount of current microamp does not stress the battery out. That's what I love about this circuit. 
And of course, when you remove the AC cord, the relay will de-energize. The springs will bring the middle contact back up to its normally closed position, which will automatically connect the battery back, okay, out to this line. And assuming that the switch is on, of course, you're going to get battery output here instead of the regulator. But even though you remove the AC cord and the relay clicks to its normally closed position, if the switch is off, no power is going out anyway, either from the regulator or from the battery. So both systems will be off when that on and off switch is off. Okay, when that on and off switch is on, without the AC cord, it's battery powered. As soon as you plug the AC cord in or you plug it into the wall, energize, ener energizes the relay, contacts get pulled down, the battery is disconnected automatically and the regulator voltage is applied to the output and the battery is getting recharged. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to show you, that's the schematic, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean about the battery recharge. I'm going to go here. You can see here, this is uh, my power supply. That's my power supply. I've got 12 and a half volts right now coming in. And it's going here. This is uh, just a negative that continues over to the battery, the battery post. This is a one mega ohm resistor, right there, positive. That's going into uh, my diode, right there one-way diode and this positive wire is going back in oh, let me get rid of this positive wire is going back into the battery now the meter is measuring right now let me adjust this so it connects the meter right now is measuring Something's going on here. Oh, there it is. Okay, the meter right now is measuring 6.4. I can't seem to get this. All right, let me just give me one sec here. I've had so much trouble with this stuff before. See that the, 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 the meter is measuring 6.4 volts. Now, this battery started at 6.18. Okay, so it, had, it has just increased, uh, <coughs> well, it increased uh, 0.22 volts within uh, since yesterday at about uh, 6 p.m. at night. And right now it is 10, 16 a.m. in the morning. So I know it's been quite a few hours. It only went up to tenths of a volt. But still, the bottom line is it is charging. And the battery, I can feel it, is cold, cold, cold. All right? And still charging. So there's my proof about the battery being recharged. Of course, the resistor that I'm using here is right there is as you saw here in the schematic which is the this one here which is one mega ohm okay so it has to be one mega ohm and that's with a supply of 12.5 12 12.5 12 volts okay drawing zero current uh, so there you go and uh, I hope you guys can make use of this I'm gonna put this circuit right now I'm gonna put it on a PCB board which I'm going to connect into my ESR meter. My ESR meter is right there which I built. Okay, right now it just has on and off switch with the BNC connector here. Uh, it actually, the probe is actually right here, tweezer probes. And uh, if I short them out, you can see the green light coming on which indicates that there's a short short capacitor. You can probably hear the buzzer as well. The buzzer's in here. 
Okay, I have to cut a hole here to make it come out. I can still hear the buzzer. And that's just showing you that. Anyways, uh, right now what I have is I'm going to put this battery in the meter. And I want this battery to be charged while I'm using AC power. Right now I'm using AC power. And just in case I want to go to battery power, I want to be able to use this battery at full charge and not worry that it's down. So I'm going to uh, open this up and hook up this circuit right here. Now this part of the circuit is already in my meter. Okay, so I don't have to do that. I just have to add the relay, the resistor, the diode, and the battery. And I have to change the on and off switch because right now my meter has a single, uh, single pole single throw. And I have to change it to a double pole double throw. So this uh, double pole single throw. So here's the relay I'm going to use right there. Uh, I guess diodes or and resistors use that use these two right here that you see and uh, my on and off switch which is right here that is a double pole double pole switch okay so right there so I'm going to be using that and then uh, I'll come back and uh, revise on this circuit and let you know if there's any problems and how the battery's doing Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day.